Hello students, I'm going to discuss the quick solutions of All India Akash Test Series Medical 2020 for carry forward and OIM students. Your test is test number 2, code A and B. Your test was held on 20th September 2020 and I'll be dealing with the botany section. So the very first question in the botany section is question number 91. Which of the given traits of tea are expressed only in homozygous condition? You may be knowing about it that only in homozygous condition, which traits can be expressed? Those traits which are recessive because dominant trait can express itself in both conditions, homozygous as well as heterozygous condition. So you have to find out the recessive traits. Yellow seeds, it's a dominant trait. Violet flowers, dominant trait. Terminal flower position in pea plant, it's a recessive trait. Constructed pod, again, is a recessive trait. So the correct option for the given question should be option number one. Let's move to the next question. Question number 92, in which of the given crosses of pea plants, F1 progenies will not be seen with yellow pods? Yellow pod, it's a recessive trait, it means to get a recessive trait, you should have small y, small y. In this cross, definitely we can get small y, small y. Again, in this, we can get small y, small y. Here also, the chances of coming small y, small y is there. But in this case, we cannot get small y, small y in the progeny because one parent is homozygous dominant. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the next question. Question number 93. How many types of gametes will be produced by the individual with the genotype capital A, small a, capital B, capital B, capital C, small c, capital D, capital D, and capital E and small e? Now, the types of gametes is calculated with the formula 2 raised to the power n. And n is number of heterozygote pair. Here, capital A, small a, it is first heterozygote pair, capital B, capital B, this is homozygote, so we won't consider it, capital C, small c, yes, second one, and again, capital E, small e, the third one. So, how many heterozygous pairs are there? 2 raised to the power 3, and that is 8. So, the total number of gametes can be produced from here is 8. So, the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Question number 94. A red flowered snapdragon plant is crossed with a white flowered snapdragon plant. Which of the following is not true for the above cross? You should know that the snapdragon shows incomplete dominance for its flower color. Now the question is if a red colored snapdragon plant is crossed with white colored snapdragon plant then what will happen if these are the parents you will get capital R small r in the progeny means the progeny will have pink colored flower here the capital R is not dominant over the small r completely now what are the questions the F1 progeny will not resemble either of the two parents. It is true because F1 progeny will have pink flowers and the parents have red and the white flowers respectively. So F1 progeny will not resemble to the either of the parents. It is correct. Second option, if F1 progeny is self-crossed, okay? So if this progeny is self-crossed in F2, you will get capital R, capital R capital R, small r, capital R, small r, small r, small r means this is red, these are pink, and this is white. So, the phenotypic ratio is 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 1, and same for the genotypic ratio also, which is 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 1. Now, if F1 progeny is self-crossed, the phenotypic ratio in F2 generation will be 3 is to 1. No, it is 1 is to 2 is to 1. So this is incorrect. Third statement, both the alleles of flower color gene mixes each other to produce F1 phenotype. Yes, we can say this, that the red color and the white color mix together to produce the pink color. 
Fourth, gene for flower color in Snapdragon does not follow Mendel's first law of dominance. Yes, because Mendel's first law of dominance says one allele is dominant over the other one. The other one is recessive and the which dominates is the dominant. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number 95. Select the set of parents that cannot produce child with O blood group. See, we know that O blood group is recessive blood group. Means IO gene is recessive. It cannot express in presence of IA, IB or now. Here in case of A, if one parent has O blood group and the other parent has a blood group it is possible that the o blood group can come how because the second parent can be heterozygous for the genes i o i o or the genotype of the second parent can be i o i a so o blood group can come from here b and a definitely o blood group can come from this combination also because both the parents can be heterozygous C, A, B and O. No, here O blood group is not possible because the first parent does not have the O allele. Same for the D because the first parent does not have the allele for O. So C and D cannot produce the child with O blood group. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Mm -hmm. 